but of course, it is vital to the nation. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, Ohio looks like the next union battleground as newly elected Governor John Kasich wants to do pretty much what Governor Walker is doing in Wisconsin. Governor Kasich joins us now from Columbus, Ohio. So, Governor, the country seems to be split, according to polls, in protecting the workers. So what exactly do you want to do in Ohio vis-a-vis -vis the unions? Well, Bill, first of all, I don't want to be listed as an anti-union uh, guy. My father was in a union. I grew up in a union town. And, uh, look, what I want to do is be able to get Ohio out of this deep hole we're in. We have an $8 billion budget deficit, and we have a massive reform plan that also includes the ability to control our costs as it relates to public employees versus, at times, the taxpayers. I also want to give the flexibility to mayors. Uh, to school districts to be able to control their costs because there's going to be fewer dollars flowing from the state to, to those folks in those entities. And I want them to be able to control their costs. So basically, uh, I, I support the idea that our union members, our public employees, ought to have the right to bargain over their wages. But there's a number of things that, that the taxpayers, represented by people like me and by the mayors and the city councils and the school boards in our communities, need to be able to have to control their costs. Okay. Ohio now must that's almost exactly out what of was... this terrible situation. Okay, I, and look. You have an $8 billion shortfall, Wisconsin 3.6 shortfall, everybody understands it. There, there's something in play here that I want to bring up in a moment, but I want to say on the unions for a moment. In order to accomplish what you and Governor Walker want to accomplish, and other governors around the country, you have to diminish union power. You have to. There's no other way to do it. Am I wrong? Bill, this is not about diminishing or attacking or being against unions. No. The issue is no, but you we have passed to diminish the bill. Their power, bill Governor. Let me finish. You simply have we to passed, do it. Look, the unions are still going to be able to represent the public employees. All we're doing is creating a balance. There's a there's a imbalance okay, right I, now. I, I got it, and people will agree or disagree on whether that balance helps or hurts the workers. But you have to admit that taking some of the bargaining power away from the union diminishes it. So I'm not saying that's wrong. No, you know, I'd probably I, I do the same thing at it. that choose, you're doing if Bill, I were in your seat. Bill, I, no, yeah. I choose to look at it a different way. What I'm doing is I'm empowering taxpayers. And, in fact, I could also be helping union households because if we don't get jobs created in, in this state, we've lost 600,000 in the last 10 years. Only California and Michigan has done worse. My job is to lift Ohio for all Ohioans. So that we all have right. to I mean, be if you don't together. have the jobs, if you don't have the jobs, and the union doesn't matter because there's nothing to work with. And that's what Walker's threatening to do to lay off people in his state. Now, the liberal line, the Democratic line, the New York Times line, is that you and Walker have brought the situation on yourself because you want tax breaks. You are lowering taxes so there's less money coming into Columbus, and therefore you have to make it up by diminishing the union benefits. And you say? Bill, the problem is we're one of the highest tax states in America. We're under siege out here. Companies don't want to come to Ohio. We have to lower the cost of doing business so all Ohioans can gain. Look, I was the chairman of the Budget Committee in 1997. I was the chief architect of the first balanced budget that led to a prosperous America and paying down the most of, national, of our national debt in history. I'm going to take the same formula, lower the cost of entrepreneurship, lower the cost of being able to create a job. And we can get jobs created in Ohio. Everybody gains. Our schools gain. Our hospitals gain. But, Bill, the Midwest is under assault. We are losing prosperity to the South and to the Southwest. On my watch, I am going to do everything I can to make this a job-creating state rather than a job-losing state. And okay. that's now, let me I'm just clarify a couple of things. Let me, you, you were on the balanced budget committee while you were a congressman in Washington. And you are yeah, losing jobs to the Sun Belt states because they are right to work states. Whereas you Not are strict union procedures. Go ahead. Not just that. They have lower costs, lower taxes. Look, easier regulations, less friction against business. It's not just one thing. I am not at war with, with the unions that, not at war with anybody, but, you know, the unions that make things, I hope we're going to have a great relationship. And all I'm asking here in Ohio today is the taxpayers get represented at the table. Unions can still have their say, but the taxpayers need to be represented, and local governments need to have the tools. Bill, 
We have a provision in Ohio law that an outsider can fly in, impose a settlement on a city that the city can't afford. They raise taxes and they cities. Now that makes no sense. So is that a union mandated? Is, is that a union mandated thing in Ohio? That you just mentioned? It was a legislative mandated thing. Oh, it, was a law. The it was a law passed did. by the legislature. Okay. All yes. right, I got it, Governor. I got it. And uh, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate you uh, you articulating your side of the story. Always good to be with I think you. Everybody as has a, to know it. At, at, I'm always glad to be on as a guest. And I remember when I used to host. See you, Bill. Yeah, and it's amazing. It's amazing you won the governorship with that on your resume, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, See Governor. Ya. Thanks. Next on the rundown, Dick Morris will react to some confusing polling about the union controversy.